Okay. This is Brother Lewis Montgomery, and I am very proud to be interviewing Brother James Fitzpatrick as part of our oral history project. Brother Fitzpatrick, how are you doing this evening? I'm doing fine, Brother Montgomery. I'm doing Great. Fine, Brother Montgomery. Appreciate that. Very good. Well, I wanted to, um, again, we are, we are capturing the, uh, the, the oral history of, uh, of senior brothers in the, in the fraternity. And basically what we want to do is to, uh, to learn more about you and, and, and your story. So if you would just start by telling us a bit about you, uh, you know, where you're from originally and where you went to college. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, let me, right. I'll, I'll, go the, uh, I'll go with the, starting with the first question. I'm, uh, first question, I'm uh, Brother James E. Fitzpatrick, Brother James Jr. E. Fitzpatrick Jr. I was born in Philadelphia, born Pennsylvania. In Philadelphia. February 16, 1938. And I grew up in a little town called Covington, Virginia. Oh, okay. And uh, my undergrad was Virginia State University. Earned a BS in chemistry. Mm -hmm. And uh, George Washington University for graduate school. For the Master of Science in Administration. With a concentration in management engineering. Okay, wow. Very cool. So how, how was it that your family? I'm sorry. I'm Bobby, sorry. Go ahead. ahead. No, I'm sorry. I, I I interrupted you. Please continue. No, you go. You were getting ready to ask me something. Yeah, I was going to ask you about moving from uh, from Philadelphia to uh, to Covington, Virginia. What uh, you know? What what caused your family to move south? Well, most people father, at that time were moving north. Well, my father was originally from Virginia. So he had came. He had come north for work. And when the situation improved, we moved back to Virginia. Okay. Okay. That's how that transitioned. I left. I left Philadelphia when I was six years old. Okay. All right. Okay. Very good. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. All right. Okay. So that that's how I got back to Covenant, Virginia. Mm -hmm. Got it. Now, now you two, two two very important degrees: uh, management science and in uh, chemistry. How did you choose those areas to study? I'm sorry. How did you come to choose uh, uh, chemistry as a field of study and then later management sciences? Well, what happened was when I, when I was in high school, I was very good in science, science and chemistry. So, so that made me feel like that's what I wanted to do. And initially, I thought that I might end up going to medical school, but that never happened. When I started working government later, uh, I transitioned to management. Okay, so now let me back up a little bit. When I arrived at Virginia State as a freshman, one of the first person to friend me was an alpha man. So we stayed friends and I got to know him and other future brothers well. And I like what AFIA was doing on the Virginia State's campus. So they sold me. It didn't take a whole lot of selling. Okay. I was Very nice. Okay. okay. Yeah. 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 Um, okay. And so what year were you initiated into the fraternity? 1956. 1956. Wow, that's fantastic. Beta Gamma, Beta Gamma chapter. Mm -hmm. Beta Gamma chapter. 1956. Yes. Okay. Yeah. That's fantastic. So what are some and of your best some memories of my best as a college brother? Yeah, my some of my best memories were the camaraderie and unity among among the brotherhood. We were campus leaders locally and national, and attendance. And uh, I also attended a number of regional and national conventions as an undergraduate. Okay, I usually I went as a delegate. I went as a delegate. Yeah, 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 and. Uh, so uh, let me see what else I need to tell you about that. Uh, did, did you uh, hold any office as an undergrad? Oh yeah, yeah. I was president oh, yeah. of the chapter. Yeah, I was president okay. Of the chapter. All right. Uh, yeah, I, I, I forget what year which year it was, but I was president. Okay. Yeah, right. I was very president. good. Yeah. Good. So after you got out of college, what did you do for a living? Well, after college, and you know, after college, and you know, let me get set. I was an I was a member of ROTC. Okay. So when I graduated, I was commissioned as a second lieutenant upon graduation in 1960. 
and I spent two years on active duty in the U.S. Army Chemical Corps, <laughs> and six years in the reserves, rising to the rank of major. Wow, yeah. okay. major, congratulations. Yeah, so, uh, thank you, yeah, yeah, so, uh, so, and I was, you know, I was pretty active uh, in, in the reserves, and I went to meetings, and, and I used to go to uh, two-week annual active duty for training every summer, Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I had an eight year obligation. Two years active duty, six years reserve. Mm -hmm. Got it. Yeah. yeah. So that was during the Vietnam yeah. War. Were you ever uh, activated to go to uh, Vietnam during the time you were in the reserves? No, I wasn't. No, I was a peacetime, peacetime soldier. Okay, got it. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was all, see, that was around 19, in the early 60s. You see, so by the time, so by the, time uh, the Vietnam War sort of died down, sort of died down by the time I the finished time my finished obligation, my yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. My active obligation. Actually. Okay. So after the Army, yeah, what after, did you do? Okay, I, I stayed on. I was, a, I was stationed at Edgewood Arsenal, just north of Baltimore. Okay. And I worked as a, I just, as a civilian chemist. I changed uniform. Okay. We we got out on the weekend, went back to work on the Monday as a civilian chemist. Oh boy. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I did that for several years. I did that for several years. Then I moved to the Defense Documentation Center as a physical science administrator mm. in Alexandria, Virginia. Okay. Okay. And from there I went to work at the uh, Bureau of Engraving and Printing, Department of Treasury. As head of materials research. Of materials mm -hmm. Then, after a few years there, few years there I, went I went to work at the at the Office of Management and Budget, Management and Budget in, the, in, the in the in the Executive Office of the President. Oh boy! And I got to meet Ronald Reagan. Okay. He was Very president cool. at the time. Yeah. 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 After a few years there, after a few years there, and getting a more seasoning, getting a more seasoning, I re returned to the Bureau of Engraving and Printing. As an office chief of, currency, office chief of currency processing, processing. Okay. right. So that's that's where we printed all your money down there. Okay, got it. And uh, there, uh, brother Montgomery, I had the honor to be selected to serve as a part of an international consortium of researchers. It's called the Intaglio Research Group, <laughs> and they were. A group of 17 countries working on ways to to uh, prevent counterfeiting and things like that of, of currency. Yeah, yeah. So I got to go to Europe. I traveled about 25 different times, and my headquarters was for this project was in Brussels, Belgium, at the National Bank of Belgium. Okay. So, uh, and I, and I after. After I finished that assignment, I, finished that assignment, I retired in 1993. Retired in 1993. Okay. You've been retired a good long time. <laughs> That's a, a long time. That's correct. That's correct. Yeah. That's correct. That's great. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. So, so tell us, how did you uh, become one of the charter members of Kappa Phi Lambda? How did I what? How did you become one of the charter members of Kappa Phi Lambda? Well, what happened was I was part of a working group or committee, committee uh, that, were, that looked into trying to, to set up a chapter here in Columbia. Mm -hmm. See, I was active in the Baltimore chapter. Okay. We used to live in Baltimore before we moved to Columbia. Okay. Well, so I, I worked, on, worked on a committee, and uh, that's how I got to become uh, part of the uh, charter members. Okay. Yeah, there was only like 30, I think 34 of us. 34, yes, sir. 34 in 1975. That's right. Yep, yep. That's right. Yep. Yeah. Very yeah. good. So, uh, now, in, in retirement, uh, I, I worked as a community volunteer. And back in the early 70s, I was formerly a member of the Hoppers Choice Village Board. 
Gordon. And I was chairman for several years. Okay, nice. Yeah. And then I also, also volunteer at, at my church, St. John Baptist Church, John Baptist church okay. where I served on committees, served, 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 served as an usher. And then in the year 2000, I was ordained as a, as a deacon. Oh, good, great. Congratulations. Yeah. yeah. And also, I'm a charter member of St. John Baptist Church. Okay. Wow. So you got two notable charters to your, uh, your right. credit. That's right. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Yep. Yeah. Very good. Now, so tell us about your involvement I, with the fraternity over the years, with uh, Kappa Phi Lambda over the years. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, tell us about your involvement with Kappa Phi Lambda over the years, in addition to being a okay. charter All member. Right. Yeah, I was getting to that. Okay. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Let me get to my notes on that. Okay. Okay. I'll let you talk. <laughs> yes, I worked as a charter member, worked as a committee for a formation, for a formation committee. Mm -hmm. And then through the years, I have served on a number of com committees, and I was Kappa Phi Lambda's fourth president. From 1980 to 92, and I also I served as president during the sixth and seventh Martin Luther King Memorial Breakfast. Okay, and I was a greetings and recognitions presenter at the Capitol 25th anniversary celebration in May of 2000. Okay, and I was member I was a member of that that celebration committee. Mm -hmm. Right, right. So. And, you know, I've been involved over the years in, in different ways, you know, even mentoring the young people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's great. That's, what, that's wonderful. Yeah, that's wonderful. So what are some of your best memories? You can ask me anything else you Ask me anything else you want to ask about that. It might come to mind. You know? Sure, happy okay. to. So what are, what are some of, as you think about your time in the House of Alpha, what are some of your best memories of being an Alpha? Okay. okay. My, te my attendance at conventions. My attendance at conventions. And uh, the Kappa, and, uh, Kappa Phi Lambda picnics and smokers. Mm -hmm. And the opportunity to meet with and see other national leaders of Alpha Phi Alpha. Mm -hmm. You know, like some of the general presidents and things like that. When I went to the convention, like Ozell Sutton, I met all of those people, you know, Brother Sutton, Brother uh, Williams. Yeah, so I've met a number of them. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's great. So but in addition to uh, former uh, general presidents, have you had a chance to meet any famous alphas in your life? Any alpha celebrities? Uh, yeah, let me yeah, what's the, what's the guy named yeah. the, from? Uh, what's the guy named the, uh, oh, oh, the senator from Massachusetts. You know? Oh, Edwin Brooke. Eddie Brooke, that's right. Yes, yeah. okay, nice, very good. Yeah, I got to meet him, and there's some others too. Uh, oh wow, okay, you know I can't think of all this stuff. Well, that's okay. Yeah, that's to. okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, as, as, as we know, Alpha Phi Alpha has been around since 1906. Uh, right. Why do you think it's important today in today's environment? Well, you know, brother Montgomery, I think it's important in today's because leadership is required. And Alpha has always been known as leaders. See, true to our motto, we were leaders of all, servants of all, and we try to transcend all. Mm -hmm. So no matter what we call to do. So I just think, you know, we're, we're leaders and people look to us. They look to us to lead, and that's what we're supposed to do. Yeah. Sure. Absolutely. And I think it's more important today because of all the things that are going on. And with a lot of young people, particularly our young men. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Let's let me back another thing I used to do when I retired. Shortly after retired, I substitute taught for a while, just nice. to have something to do. Sure. And and I used to grab some of those young boys when they got out of line, and I would line them up. <laughs> Not do anything physical to them, but I give them sure. a good talking to. Sure. Because, 
because I was thinking about some of these young men might be future alpha men, you know? Very true, very true. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So did you substitute teach in high school or what, uh, what grade did you substitute teach? High school and uh, middle school. Middle okay. School. Yeah. Let me guess, one of the subjects may have been chemistry? I'm sorry. Did, uh, let me guess, uh, did you ever do substitute teaching for chemistry? Oh yeah, chemistry and math, because math is yeah. my mind. Okay, that's great, yeah. that's great. Yeah. 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 Well, Brother Fitzpatrick, uh, again, I want to thank you for this opportunity to, uh, to interview you, to, to learn more about uh, your story. Before we wrap up, is there anything else you'd like to, uh, to add to this interview? No, but if you think of, of anything as you go through your notes and you listen to the recording, just give me a call back and I'll try to elaborate on or amplify anything that's not clear. Okay, absolutely. I appreciate that. And what I'll be doing as a follow-up is we're doing a, a monthly feature now called Did You Know? And it's based on these interviews. And the Did You Know is really about the uh, the brothers that we're interviewing. So the first one was on uh, okay. Brother uh, C. Vernon Gray. This month will be on Brother Ken Jennings and yours will be a future month. So I will send you a copy of that in advance okay. and you have an opportunity to review it and make any any suggested edits and then okay. it'll get published in the newsletter. Well, that sounds wonderful. That's, it's an honor to be selected to do something like that. Yeah, yeah. Well, brother, brother uh, Fitzpatrick, uh, thank you. I mean, thank you for, for the work that you've done over the years in both your career as well as in the uh, fraternity. Uh, brother Ken Jennings said something to me the other day that really has stuck with me is that, uh, that we're all standing on the shoulders of giants. And, uh, you know, you're one yeah. of the giants in, uh, in our chapter. And uh, those of oh. us who've come behind you, we're standing on your shoulders as you stood on the shoulders of brothers who came in front of you. That's right. That's right. Yes. Thank you. Bro. I appreciate that. Thank you. Oh, thank you, brother. Yeah. All righty. Well, listen, we're yeah, in the recording now. Oh, so go ahead. Ed, as I said, if there's anything that comes to mind that you need to know, just let me know. And if I think of anything that I might have left out that might help you, I'll call you. Good. I appreciate that. Okay. Well, Brother Fitzpatrick, thanks again. And I look forward to seeing you in person in the not too distant future. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully I can get back, get back this year. There's some issues uh, in the family involving myself and, and my wife as well. So there's some things I have to take care of here. Absolutely, that's, understand. That's been, Harry, Harry will know. Harry will know about it. So yeah, yeah. absolutely. Like I, I talked with him. I talked with him early because guess what? I talked with him. I talked with him early because guess what? I had. I've got these several calls about people getting an email from James Fitzpatrick mm. needing help, wanting gift cards and things like that. It was a scam. Yeah. It was a scam. But see, they they had to write. They had to write name. But mm -hmm. they didn't even have a right email address. Yeah. That's a, unfortunately yeah. a very common scam, and I've, had, I've been a victim of that myself, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, listen, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end the recording now. Brother, it's been a real pleasure to speak with you, and we'll talk again soon. It's been a pleasure to talk with you, too. And okay. uh, hopefully we'll see each other soon. I hope so. Thank you, brother. Take care. Be blessed now. Thanks. Give our regards to your family. I certainly shall. You do the same. Okay. Thank All you, right. sir. Thank you. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night.